All right, I got to make sure I get my I got to make sure I get my little bit before Tony hops in the in the Zoom and takes over. Uh not that, you know, Tony can talk, so can I, but whatever. Welcome back to the show everybody. I was going to say the name of the show, but I feel like I should wait until Tony's back. Also, if you're watching on the video, check out the poof. And if you're just listening along, welcome back. This is, they should be episode three, officially not counting zero. Um, but yeah, thank you for following along if you've been following along. Don't mind me. All right, Tony has popped in. Let's see what he comes with. Let's see what kind of energy he's bringing. Hello. All right. He's almost there. I know you know how to work Zoom. Mr. Dr. Professor. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what up, though? What up, what up? We did it. What up? The we did it, bruv. And you know you're right. Uh, we should have did Zoom from the very beginning because editing those first couple crushes my soul with how fucking dog shit Discord <laughs> looked. Yeah. Um. I was just I was to to warm up for tonight. I was watching. Um. I was watching the you know our previous few episodes and uh. I couldn't help but notice that my video quality, while probably my fault, not yours, felt to me like it felt like your L, not mine. Oh, it was. And what, and it, what I mean by that is that I was so insistent that this was a audio podcast you could watch. And I was just delighted to see um, the video component essentially fail. And like, you know, we're like, we're boys, you know, and this is our project where your success is my success. Right. My success is your success. I'm rooting against the video. <laughs> um, so that, so that was, that was huge for me. That was a big, I, I took a pretty big dub like a half an hour ago. And then I threw on that video while I was burping my son. And, and it was um, horrendous. And no, it, no, it was great. It was great. Cause it meant something that never happens happened which was i was right <laughs> dab on him yeah yeah um, what's up tone good to see you man bro good to see you cheers Ooh, what you got what you got a little sapporo no, well i mean one. i don't know what are we doing so i don't want to this is not as not as not, not a hashtag, sponsorship hashtag not an ad Oh, this is a little per. This is a little per. A little Italian brewski, a fine um, Mediterranean pilsner. It's that is very good. It's uh, it's like um, Miller, it's Miller Light esque. Yeah, you know what? I think the um the domestic beer that it reminds me the most of is um, like Coors Coors Light. Coors, just one. like a tangier Coors Light. <laughs> yeah, dude, dude, I missed you. How you been? Yeah, I'm good. You know, um, I've had some, I've had a few changes since I saw you last. Oh my God. Did you get a, did uh, you finally get your belly button pierced? Like you've been talking about? No, no, no. That, um, listen, that's still kind of on the list. You know, I'm a little <laughs> spooked with the Omicron variant, uh, and needles and whatnot. So I want to hold off on that. Um, no, no. Um, I got a new computer. I'm not using it right now, Ooh. but, um, I'm, I'm back in the cult. <laughs> oh, catch, catch me in catch me in cult of Apple. I swore it off, and then um, I I swore it back. And then well, you know what it is, back. man. I'm it's... you know I'm half in with the iPhone. I guess I again not not an ad. I'm half in with the iPhone. Hashtag like, not an ad, but we right. we do love Apple on this. <laughs> yeah, and you know, man, I'm like one of those like asshole buy your music streaming is evil like i'm on twitter to, i'm like adding spotify telling them that they're very evil you know so i hey, have the like, artists have more like, they deserve more yeah. than the so like i'm hundredth of a penny 
I'm like even like listen, man. I'm even dumber than the people that collect vinyl, and I collect vinyl. I'm even dumber than the people that collect CDs. I collect MP3s. Like I own MP3s, and I still ride with iTunes. I've been on iTunes. I was gonna say you're you're one of those guys who whose iTunes library is stacked. Yeah, man, the 15 year anniversary of iTunes popped up not too like like in the last couple weeks. um, Did did they get rid of iTunes? They merged the iTunes program into the Apple Music, Apple Music. interface. Okay. So if you're a tool bag with a classic iPod, um, bro, you, I, you like you have to. You, I don't know where mine's at, but I I have one of those brick iPods. Like I love my old iPod. Me too. I, I'm literally I'm not gonna go get it because I got the I got the phones plugged in. I'm you know that's see that's the thing about the that, that's what I'm excited about the Mac. I'm gonna be like AirPod. You know, plugged into the computer on the on the pods. Dude, I just things found, are about to be great for me. I just found out that I can edit my videos yeah. with my AirPods because normally I that is the only reason I have a set of wired good headphones for editing. But I mm. fucked around with something in the settings, and literally the other day I was like playing a video from across the room with just my AirPods. I was like. This is this, yes. and and I was like, Renee, this is the best thing. And she's like, my AirPods connect to my laptop all the time. I was like, but it, it's just this one. It's just different. You know, it's different. A- Apple is a cult, but big time. I, I Dumb, literally just had this conversation stupid. with one of Nay's friends, but like, it it's it's because it just works. And like, how are you gonna be mad? That, at we'll it? see, and that's that's the that's the thing, man. I, you know, I got I got like a hundred gigabytes of iTunes. I have an iPhone. Like, I, I just, I need, I just have too much other shit going on. I just need everything to work together, you know? And and for me, it was, um, you know, pictures, because one of the reasons, one of the big reasons my life changed, you know, I'm, I'm taking more pictures than I used to. And I just need it to work. I need it to talk to the computer that I have. And so you got that, that, and you got that iCloud. Oof. That's no bonga. You know, the old DJ Miss Rachel's going to get a new iPhone. So we're going to do like a family iCloud plan or whatever. Uh, it's just, you know, it just made sense. Of course, I've had it. I got it um, right before, like, like the 22nd of December. And <laughs> I had a dude lined up. Yeah. And I had a dude lined up to buy my old laptop and he flaked. And um, what's up with I, people uh, flaking on you, bro? I feel like every time you tell me a story, you're like... <laughs> So I I don't know I attract the wrong element. I was gonna say uh, maybe that's why you were never so mad about me being late because I showed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you showed you came. Um, but uh, so I've been like really t- taking my time switching over computers because it's you know it's like oh what if I forget some obscure word document from two thousand nine that I've had on every laptop you know. Oh so shit, that reminds progress me. Progress is happening. I need to back up uh, Renee's uh, <laughs> shit because she like. I mean, she's in the exact same boat as you, finishing up grad school and all that. Mm-hmm. And she's like, at every single at the end of all of her semester, she's like, "Can you help me back up all of my stuff?" I'm like, "It's, it's like, this is what they show you in third grade, how to put stuff onto a hard drive <laughs> in elementary school." Dude, some someday we will pick a random school grade, and you and I will talk about our very different experiences for how we talked about computers in that like. Cause when were you in um when were you in fifth grade? What year? Oh my god, graduated high school. I graduated twelfth grade. You gotta go all the way back to high school in twenty fifteen. So, oh my god, don't make me do this, man. That hurt. Uh, let's see, twelfth. What so, year did you start high school? Uh, four years. Two thousand eleven. Yeah, twenty eleven. Eleven, twelve. Okay, so. Eighth grade, uh, 10, 11, seventh grade, 9, 10, sixth grade, 8, 9, fifth grade, 7, 8. Yeah. So, so you were in fifth grade in 2007 and 2008. 2007, yeah. I started. I started high school in 2008. So I was in fifth grade in 2000. Oh, were you guys, were, this is, do you remember this, Y2K? This I do. Yeah, I was, I was obsessed with Y2K. Um, I, I'll, I'll, I'll tell three, I'll give three quick facts about Y2K. <laughs> I, I had just turned 10. No, I was nine because my birthday is in August and I'm on the year. Yeah. So like, 
the last digit of whatever age I am correlates with the with the year. So like in nineteen ninety nine, I turned the last nine. digit of however old you are is the bro. I'm. Well, well, listen, because I listen because I was born in nine, so have... I was zero. Then I was one, two. Oh, 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 okay, 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 yeah, blah, 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 I get it. yeah. So, because you know, I and and it was great. It was great up through, um, well, it was great through the nineties because you know I was a single digit number, and then in two thousand I turned ten. So you know, two thousand one, eleven, whatever. But um, yeah, I was I was stoked on it. I I got you know the internet wasn't really huge yet. Um, I watched a fair amount of TV. Like I was pretty into just throwing on VH1 on Saturdays and like watching like VJs and pop culture news. Just so I knew that like say. there was there was a I like was aware of the Y2K anxiety mm-hmm. and stuff, but I you know I was like my attention span was outweighed by my imagination so i was able to think about like the apocalypse as something cool as yeah, opposed to something yeah you like, were anxious. you were thinking of the last and, of uh, us two before it came out you're like but but what if no 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 I, no it was like cool alternative future not horrid oh, you're thinking you're thinking desolate. cyberpunk not last yeah of us. yeah yeah good callback to our last episode <laughs> that we recorded just yesterday yeah shout out shout- yeah shout out <laughs> yeah yeah work to turn turn um but no i thought it was cool i was really into that jayla song waiting for tonight i thought that vid- i thought that video waiting was hot um oh. i went to a party i i went to a new year's eve party that was the only new year's eve party i went to with my parents as a kid at a co-worker at my mom's house brag and uh they were they were you know they had some they had some cashola so like their kids had cool toys and their kids were a couple grades below behind my brother and I so like they were kind of, we'd kind of aged out of those toys but you know rich like rich kid toys rich kid toys so kid, they were like, still cool yeah like you, I might have been four years old for the toy but like it was a rich kid four years young toy so it was yeah. lit that and was, then so third it sort of fact, shot the gap you know, exactly. Like a exactly. rich kid, four year old toy is like two two years younger than you. Yeah, because here's the thing, dude. The toy, like toy coolness and appreciation, is on like it's on a multi dimensional chart. It's not linear. Like you can be five years too young for a toy if it's five times more expensive. Anyway, I'm not gonna get into. Weirdly the enough, I get that more than the last digit of your age uh, <laughs> and the, the, the year thing like, that's funny that's funny bro if we're playing and 5d then, uh, chess i get that hell yeah let's go and okay then so you're third, what? Fun, third y2k fun fact for my 10th birthday which was in august 2000 um i got a cassette tape a vhs tape for my birthday and it was pub- it was like released by cnn and it was just like an anthology of all of the CNN affiliates in all the time zones across the globe calling the year 2000. And that was like a hot gift for me that year. Like that was my favorite birthday present. Holy shit. I think I still have it. <laughs> I, I could, how did we even get to Y2K? Um, oh, you were talking I asked about what year old... you were in fifth grade. Yeah. Yeah. But I thought that had to go somewhere. Anyways. Um, it never does. Yeah. No. <laughs> um what was i gonna say oh i was gonna tell you there is no way that this that we're gonna make this into an episode because i sent the link and i'm on my free account so we would have 15 minutes so do you want to 15 minutes i thought it was 45 minutes on a free account oh is it yeah, I think so. Oh, I always thought it was 30. Maybe Nate told me that, so I didn't talk Let's just go for it. it. Let's go for broke. Let's All right. go for broke. All right, I'm, I'm totally down, but I like I just didn't know if you wanted to re- rack and re-roll. No. no, this is good. This is good banter. Oh, my gosh, bro. I just missed, I missed talking to you. I haven't... I know. I feel like, I feel like, I mean, I, we got to play Mario Party not too long ago. But... Dude, we were, me and Renee were fucking dying. I uh, know. Like, I was trying to keep my... Comp- we need a we need a a party chat for that. I feel like that could, yes, <laughs> I feel like that would get a that would get like I was gonna say Call of Duty early two thousands, but it wouldn't get that bad. No, it wouldn't. Well, it would be that it would be that wild, but not that toxic. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, welcome to the show. <laughs> this is Show and Tell with Tone and Tone. 
Yo. I'm Tone. I'm Tone. Um, and we got to roll. We got to roll for a topic. So, do you have your? Do you have your die, or am I rolling for us? You gotta roll it. My shit's in a drawer somewhere. I'm not. I was not prepared for this. Since the last time we recorded, which was yesterday, Tony has moved and had a child. I, I actually know. had moved for our last episode. Uh, I got a new bed, a king size bed. Seven lucky number seleven. Yo, love that movie, Josh Hartnett heartthrob. Let's see. Hashtag. Number seven, we have desserts. That is our topic for today. For, that's, for what today. We're showing t- that's what we're showing and telling. Yo. All right. Infographic runs across the bottom. Dessert, dessert, dessert. That is our topic. Uh, and if you're just listening, sorry, you're not going to see that infographic. And if you're watching, you're probably not going to see it either because I probably forgot to make it. But anyways... Who's going first? Who's leading the the, the charge today? Uh, okay, so I can. I mean, I'm I'm ready. I got a dessert straight off the rip that I can show and tell right now. Hit it. Um, lead it, because I gotta think of mine now. You know what? I can I can truly show and tell. Oh, he Excuse has me. his dessert. All right, so for those who are tuning al- <laughs> at Desi-, Desi underscore the underscore Doxin. Mer- merch dropping, possibly, I don't know, but Desi the Desi sweatshirt is so funny. Anyways, Tony has left the show because he's going to show and tell his dessert. So whatever he's got, he's got right with him. Um... Yeah, that was that was pretty lame. Also, I don't know if I came up with some intro music or anything, but if you have any suggestions of what kind of music that should be, put it below in the comments. <laughs> also, sorry for burping. Oh my gosh. All right. Oh no. Th- <laughs> I thought Tony was back, but it was just De- Desi. Desi is Tony's little Dotson. Uh for people who are All uninitiated. Right. All right. And He's got it. Okay. I'm going to go a little sentimental. Is that all right? Hit it. Whatever it is. This is is your... Dr. Tony, this is your show. Yes. Thank you. Okay. So uh, for for dessert, I brought to Chantel. Um, This is a a homemade cookie. Christmas cookie. Trying to like get the angle on that. Um, it looks like a piece of pizza for the. Oh no! Okay, never mind. Now it looks like uh, it looks like a brownie. No. For, th- for those who are not watching, let me describe it. Let me see it real quick one more time. Okay, so we have a base layer. It looks of brownie, and then it looks like there's a layer of vanilla, something or other, and then on top it looks well mixed in. It looks like there's some chocolate chunks or chocolate peanut butter mm-hmm. or chocolate chips. And then on top it looks like there's some caramel or chocolate drizzle. Interesting interpretation. But also, now, if if you kind of squint your eyes and look at it real quick, it just looks like a piece of barbecue chicken pizza from Jets. <laughs> Why don't you tell? Ooh, how's the mouth feel on that? Good man. <laughs> that was pretty good, dude. So it's a Christmas cookie, holiday cookie, non-denominational winter cookie. Um, I've heard them called Dream Bars, and I've heard them called Coconut Bars. My Ooh. mom, who made this very cookie, calls these Magic Bars, and what it is, kind of like a brownie base. It's like a kind of a chocolate. Oh yeah, let's see how close I got. Chocolate chip base. Okay, and next layer is um, chopped walnuts. That's the next layer. I guess you can't really see it too well. Yeah, and I don't want to get chocolate all over this laptop that I'm trying to sell. Um, <laughs> next layer is like chopped nuts, walnuts, then melted marshmallows. Uh, I mean, it's a okay. bake. You bake it. No, you bake it. So then it's then it it's marshmallows. Like marshmallows. Those get re- those get multi, and then kind of among the marshmallows. Is a uh, shredded coconut 
Mm. See, that sounds good, and I don't even like coconut. Like, I can't stand coconut. Really, the coconut, all it does is, like, add a little... Now, this is going to sound stupid, because it's a chocolate bar with marshmallows and shit. Yeah. But the coconut teases out a little sweetness, because the chocolate is not milk chocolate. Uh... It's, like, baker's chocolate. So... It's kind of savory, like there's a little kind of salty bite down at the bottom of the cookie. Mm -hmm. So what the coconut does is add a little kind of shreddy texture. Like, you know how shredded coconut kind of has that weird papery? I was just going to say, it's like that chewy kind of... Um, to me, it's more chewy than anything. Like that's, I think that's mm -hmm. why I can't get into it, is because not so much the flavor, it's that it's like... I feel like I'm like working for it. But mm. I feel like that could be good with, especially mixed in with the marshmallows and the crunch of that bottom. Yes. Brownie. Well, that's the thing. It's like a good. It's like a good texture go between, for like the hard brownie and the sort of gooey soft marshmallow. Oh. And then like you got like the salt, kind of the nuts giving some saltiness and a little crunch. It's uh, giving and then, salty to me. So, so is there caramel on top too? There is not. That's just bake marks. Mm. I think if there were caramel on it, that might push it a little too deep. That would be ridiculous. Yeah, that would be you know? that would be essentially just throwing everything in a pan and being like, "All right, it's right. a fucking cookie." That but would dreaming. stop being cooked. Right. So that's my favorite dessert. Which is not true because I don't have a favorite dessert because I'm a husky boy, so I like all kinds of desserts. But right now, on deck, that's my favorite dessert because, you know, my uh, um, my parents were just here this weekend. We've kind of we've kind of teased it a little bit in this episode, but uh, I have I did become a father since we recorded last. Um, in fact, one week. <laughs> I don't I don't have I don't have the actual sound effect, but like. DJ Conja, we the best. Don't see us, Khaled. Um, do, 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 DJ. In fact, I think he was born a week after we cut that last episode, which is funny because that last episode was like, yeah, I got like a whole month to play video games. So it, it literally was. It it was because uh, I remember we finished it, and I was like, oh yeah, I'm feeling so good. Like we knocked out. We we started it. This thing is gonna be like. I was all hyped for it. This thing is gonna be sweet. And then I was like plotting it all out. I was like, okay, cool. We got the first bit done. We're going to knock out a bunch more episodes. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to get to editing these. And then I just get that text that was like, <laughs> yo, actually, I want to, I, it's, I, there's no way to read it. It's now. funny. Read it. But it was like, oh yeah, now is the obligatory time of the show where we both get yeah, on our phones. This is the, this is the I'm like gonna get on the phone because i delete my texts because um, they take up they take up valuable photo space <laughs> uh is that uh oh no you said that that's the shit that you've been on oh okay oh no i was like did i find it um when was he when was he born I think november he 7th had, at 1 p.m i was gonna say he's he's your son i don't some people are weird not I guess not weird, but like some people don't want their kid on the internet or like that kind of stuff. And I, I mean, we're not like putting pictures of them too publicly out there, but you know, I, I can say that he was born on Sunday, November 7th. That's not a big deal. Oh, okay, cool. That's I'm, a lot of people were born on Sunday, November 7th. You feel me though? That's true. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm almost there. Okay. November, November. Okay. So the text I got was <laughs> okay so we got so again I'm gonna paint the scene we had just recorded the first yep. well we had recorded this episode and then we well we had recorded the first couple episodes and then the next day of course we recorded this but in the in the other timeline we recorded the episodes I was feeling myself we were about to get a bunch of shit done and then the next week it was on a sunday i get the text bro we should have recorded a few more last week and i was like oh 
<laughs> oh, because that could only mean one thing. And then I didn't even have time. Like, it popped up on my watch, and my phone was somewhere else. By the time I get to my phone, the vid- the picture had popped up, and it's just... Hell yes. DJ Dr. Professor Tony the Papa holding Ben with the parent selfie pose in that upward position. And now it just said, I'm booked with those like emojis with the tongue out. And I was like, oh, here we go. Oh. So yes, so that is dude. That's another... funny. That's I can't believe how funny I was that day because that was a long couple hours. <laughs> <laughs> that was a long night. Um, hell yeah, yeah. So had the kid, kind of missed Christmas because you know he a uh, little dude, lack of an immune system, et cetera, et cetera. So my uh my my parents got to see him the week the week he came home from the hospital, so mm-hmm. mid November, and then they didn't get to see him until this weekend um which is just whatever oh weekend is cl- which was whatever yeah. weekend is closest to whenever you the listener is hearing this episode um this yeah and, this was, uh, you whenever know, you're listening kinda, to this episode this episode was recorded four days prior to that yeah yeah exactly exactly um so we kind of we kind of like did an abbreviated degenero family christmas so my mom brought all the christmas cookies because she used to make when we were kids she would make cookies and we would eat them bad boys for breakfast Ooh. on Christmas Day. And as we became older, yeah. you know, the kind of the Christmas morning is very different when you're like, you know, 27 versus seven. So like the Christmas cookie had, it kind of shifted into like a thing to have with the cup of coffee. Mm-hmm. Uh, and now, now I'm kind of like enjoying them more in the evening. So right now on deck, my favorite dessert are my mom's Christmas cookies because I finally got to have them a little delayed holiday. And those magic bars, those were my favorite back in the day when I was a little sport and they remain my favorite. And I wish everybody could try them because they are amazing. You got a little saltiness, you got a little sweetness, some chewy, some crunchy, literally everything in that MF except some sour. You don't want sour in a cookie. That would I was going to say the, the only thing that it sounds like it's missing to me is some peanut butter. But I am yeah. a slut for peanut butter. <laughs> and, oh, well, could that be? Is is that the pivot? What'd you bring, show and tell? So, it's slut. We don't want a slut shame on this show. If you like peanut butter and you get down for it, that's your business. Desi's yeah. a slut for peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. At well, wait, wait. Desi underscore the yeah. underscore dot We're just gonna on keep, Insta. Just keep flashing <laughs> Desi's Instagram. We're going to get Desi Link to 100K. In- <laughs> Lincoln profile. What's good? Des? Oh, we're good. Gonna... Desi to 100k. Yo. Desi to the moon. Yo, Yo. Desi. <laughs> so, my favorite, um, my favorite dessert. Wait, do we cut right here? How did we do it last time? Do we cut when it's my turn? I think so. I think what we should do, we should grind out this whole episode and then roll and do our homework for the next episode. Because gotcha. I think that was originally how we were going to do it. We were going to do the roll at the end of the episode and then, like, do research. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, we recorded uh, the first episode of this yesterday, so I don't know why we're forgetting. Yeah, it's anyways, weird that we don't remember it because um, it was yesterday, like you said. So my favorite dessert, I don't have it on deck, but I have a different answer for my favorite dessert on deck. My favorite dessert of all time is one specific cake that was made. So for Thanksgiving, my cousin Rebecca, who was like my older sister, um, she was like, yo, how do you guys feel about me bringing this Oreo cake for, for dessert? I was like, oh, that sounds amazing. Bring it, whatever. So she gets there. So she pulls up dessert time. She never brought it in because it was cold enough outside. <laughs> Now on Thanksgiving, it's it's not cold enough. Shout out Global Warming. Yeah, dude, it was like 85 degrees this year. It sucks. Yeah, we cooked our turkey on the <laughs> sidewalk this year. <laughs> really? <laughs> no. <laughs> but oh, so oh, so she I, pulled up. Yeah, you're making fun of me. I'm, I'm making fun of the boomers ruining the environment. Now Ben will never see snow. Thanks, Thanks Dad Bama. <laughs> so anyways, so dessert time rolls around. And she's like, 
yo, can you go grab the uh, the cake? It's it's outside in the fridge. She's like, but just a heads up, I kind of messed up, so I'm not sure how it'll taste. And I was like, okay, whatever. Pull it out. And it was this, it looked like a huge ball of vanilla frosting and somebody dumped Oreo crumbs on it. It looked like shit. It was, it looked really bad. And I was like, oh man. But you cut into it and it was like, it was like four layers of chocolate cake with Oreos and cream cheese, like mixed into the batter. And then Mm -hmm. the Oreos and the cream cheese were the frosting. So it was like, Holy shit. It was like a double <laughs> cheesecake and it was freezing cold from being outside. So like it was just warm enough to where like the cake, you know, cause you know how, like when you bite into cake, sometimes it's too cold and it's like, okay, this yes. isn't, it was just warm enough to where you could taste the cake, but mm-hmm. still cold that the frosting was like, mm-hmm so sh- sugary cold and like to this she has made that dessert probably four times since but that first one was the best cake i've ever had in my life and yeah it, that and it was sounds like, pretty good we all sat there and like nobody said anything while we're eating because it, because it was so good and then she's like okay well i'm leaving i was like okay well you're this cake is staying here because I'm going to eat this for the next three days and I killed it. <laughs> oh, um, no. Oh, so that was so good. That was, uh, dude, that, dude, that, my that, mouth you, is like, you sold that. My mouth is watering <laughs> right now. Yeah, you, you, you sold that, man. And I, I'm not, um, I'm not like a big cake guy. To be honest, cake is like the least exciting of the dessert family to me. Really? Um, but that is like really are you more that is really are you more of really a pie guy off. um you know i'm more of like an ice cream dude i think like like for desserts mm-hmm. i'm more of an ice cream dude um because I think some like, people are anti-cake pro pie like nay is like i will i could never have a cupcake i could never have cake again i'm fine She's like, but I love cheesecake and I love pie. And I've I do found I do fucking love cheesecake. Cheesecake goes so hard. Cheesecake is <sighs> cheesecake is good too, man. Because cheesecake is like that's a palette. Or not a palette. Um that's a like a canvas. Meal. That's the that's like a blank canvas. It is a meal for sure. But um you can man, you can put you can put anything on it on I think I think I would have to amend. Cheesecake. I think I would have to amend my favorite desserts because you talking about cheesecake reminds me of mm-hmm. another dessert. And this is uh, what did you say? How did you say your your mom's was Magic sentimental? Senti- oh no, yeah, you said sentimental. So mine is mine is a bit sentimental too. So um, there was this old dude who used to come to the liquor store, and his name was Porky, and. He was just this old crotchety guy who would come and hang out because he had nothing better to do. Um, so I always thought I always called him like my adopted grandpa because both Love my gran- like my grandpa's passed away when I was little. So mm-hmm. I was like, this is this old dude is my adopted grandpa. And so he would come to the store literally like as long as I could imagine. And he just was always cool, dude crotchety and whatever but he used to come in and bring these fucking massive cakes and he would bring, yes and he was like and i always would ask him i'm like why would why are you bringing this cake and then he would just be like why are you complaining about cake just shut the fuck <laughs> up and eat it and i'm like okay man I'm like sorry thanks but then like as he got later on he like right he would like soften up and he's like well you know like I have insomnia. I can't really sleep. So I'm up at like four in the morning and I just go to Meyer and I get all the stuff for these cakes and I just make them. He's like, and I'll just pass them out throughout the day. 
So like he had nice. one of his other like really good friends owned the bar up the street. So he would he was always mm-hmm. either at that bar or at the liquor store. So he would always come awesome. in, bring the cakes and bullshit. So he would bring this chocolate ganache raspberry cheesecake and I never ever liked cheesecake and I told him I was like look man I'm not a I don't like cheesecake it like that much cream cheese grosses me out yeah I remember he cussed me out one day you motherfucker I'm gonna fucking bring you a cake and you're not even gonna fucking eat it blah 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 he's like just eat it and he like scooped off a piece and put it in my mouth I was like okay okay man I was like I'll try it I'll try it so I ate it loved cheesecake after that amazing so uh three four years ago wow three four years ago he he passed away and Mm -hmm. uh i he when he was in the old folks home i used to go and see him a lot whatever just bullshit and i asked him i was like porky i really want your recipe i really want your cake recipes because at that point he's like well i'm gonna die any day now i was like okay well when you die i want your recipes I was like, that is all I want. And he's like, they're nothing special. They're nothing special, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So I eventually found him in like a box of shit that was at my uncle's house that he just had. Mm -hmm. And I have the binder somewhere, but it's literally just like he ripped these shits out of magazines or like the back of of like those boxes. And so I made it one day and it was... It wasn't as good as his, but it was like just as good as his, if that makes sense. So it was just, you were it, able to more or less successfully cook a cheesecake. Yes, and wow, Renee, that's, that's Renee impressive. as my witness. Those are, uh, I mean, I, I I believe you. I have no reason not to believe you. Those are hard as shit to cook. Yeah, it was tough. I think I, I think um, mine cracked a little bit, but it was like for the most part, it it was pretty solid. Wow! Wow! And it was like it was not like undercooked in the middle or anything. It was like it just worked. Yeah, and that was the only time I ever wow. did it. I did it one time, and that was enough. <laughs> well, hey man, you know if you hit a home run, you're uh, yeah. Why, why and go you up, never swing? Why go up and you to never, bat again? Yeah, if you, <laughs> you hit a home, yeah, thank you. I for some reason I like couldn't land the plane on that one. If you hit a home run, if you never swing again, you're un you're undefeated. Perfect game. I, just, just I, I, I swung. A, I swung That's a for perfect pitchers. Game. So, anyways, Pit, pitchers pitch a perfect game. Well, hold on. Can I? Can I? Can I pivot from cheesecake? Yeah. Or do you? Was it important what you were gonna? No, say? I was just gonna say I. I was gonna get my favorite. My favorite dessert that's on deck. But. Okay. Well, do you want to go get it and I'll riff about cheesecake? Yeah. Do it. I'll be real quick. Yeah, because you got the headphones, so you can hear me. No, it's too far. I'll be back. <laughs> Motherfucker. All right. Well, I'll plug. Desi underscore the underscore Toxy on Instagram. And I will talk about how Antonio is a butthole and you should check out his main YouTube channel. He's got some great content happening there. You should also check out Missing the Homies. I was on a couple episodes of that in April of 2020. You should check that out. But really, you should just peep all the work that the young man is doing. So anyway, um, I worked at a restaurant when I was in high school that did catering, cafe, and bakery. And the ladies that ran it used to make cheesecakes, and they would put them in the walk-in to cool overnight. And all the little dipshit high school kids would go eat the cheesecakes, (laughs) and we would eat them plain, okay? We would eat them plain. So I'm not going to say the name of the restaurant because I don't want to get them in trouble because this is abuse. But they got so mad at us for eating all the cheesecakes that they called us in for a mandatory, like, they called it a work meeting, but really what it was, was they were so mad we'd eaten like $150 worth of cheesecakes in like a week. So they made us learn how to make them. And then we, that we like made shitty cheesecakes and then they made us eat the whole cheesecake that we made. And you know, like the episode of King of the Hill where Hank, where like Hank makes Bobby smoke the carton of cigarettes. It was like that. Like we were like throwing up and sick. It was terrible. And in spite of that, I still love cheesecake and I still stole cheesecakes from that restaurant. So what'd you, what'd you bring for us? That is, we have five minutes left before it kicks us off. 
Good. So, just, so you gotta gonna... show you gotta show it, and then we gotta roll. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I, that is so funny. I can't believe they made you <laughs> they made you eat a whole fucking cheesecake. It is incredible. So what I brought for show and tell is mm-hmm. milk chocolate covered peanut butter pretzels. Shout out my boy Joe at Trader Look Joe's. Look at Trader, the big T. He absolutely kills it on snacks and I had never had these until 3 days ago picked up a bag and then we killed it all in one night i was like hey nay uh while you're out can you grab two more bags of those milk chocolate things and she's like two should i get two i was like yeah you should get two like, yeah like, you well, i'm only gonna get three, one babe good point <laughs> so this is the last Dude, bit so of i'm this is a good this is a good i'm glad you went and grabbed that and i'll explain to you why <clears throat> Excuse me. Explain before or I, after the roll. Before the roll, because I I, I kind of I modified my answer about dessert because I seem to remember that um, snacks is its own option on the list, and to me a snack and dessert are very different. And these milk chocolate covered peanut butter pretzels, I would call that a snack, not a dessert. So let's I'm let that getting, let's let let's let I'm, that debate hang in the air. Could we use this opportunity to tell our listeners what some of the items on the list are, and then let's roll for next week. I can't believe I just got put on blast on my. <laughs> hey man, sorry, dude. This is listen, bro. It's a it's love. I it, I it comes from a place of love. I just don't I want mean, you to look like a fool. I mean, you, you know, this podcast that you, me, and maybe our significant others maybe will listen to has rules, bro, <laughs> and we're gonna follow those rules. Speaking of that, right before I hopped on this, Nay was like, what if we did a podcast, all four of us? I was like, I mean, we could like, there's nothing like there's like, I don't have to, I don't have to run that by anybody. And she's like, well, just an idea. And then like walked away. I was like, okay. Yeah, I was we like, I do, we'll do, we'll do special episodes with the better halves. Yeah. That'll, that'll be like miles. That will, that will require much more. Planning. Yeah. That is not a. Yo, I'll I'll be on in thirty minutes. Yeah, right, right. That's not the pop in. Tone and tone can pop in, but the 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 the, the girls. The the all right. Girls. So okay, so I'm gonna roll. Actually, this is a D12. Oh, sorry for the people who dude, know. D12. What Detroit rap legend? Dude, I no joke. I have been listening to a lot of D12. I heard one of, one of the songs. I listened. On- I listened to I listened to D12 World kind of every so often. It popped up on my uh, TikTok for you page, and I was like, okay, I got to listen to it. Okay, anyways, so let me roll. So I got three. So three, oh my gosh. So three is music. <laughs> That's almost too easy. Yeah. So some well, of the other. That's, that's the roll. What are some other categories? Okay, Do so... six, nine, and 12. Okay, so I have one more minute. Six, Six is food. Nine is podcasts. Twelve is board slash card games. So these are some of the things that we could rant and rave about how we did today. So if that sounds interesting, come join us again on Show and Tell with Tone and Tone. See you next week. Peace.